Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. All right, let's turn our attention to the weather. Matt, it sounds like a lot of people will be traveling this holiday weekend. Yes, thank goodness it's going to be nice weather. Good. Hopefully. That's good news. That's our preliminary forecast. Nice. Right. Okay. <laughs> we'll we that. had quite a bit of rain today earlier. We got a half an inch in just 15 minutes at the Burlington International Airport. So that happened between 8.05 and 8.20 this morning. And to just give you an idea of how much moisture that would be, that would be equivalent to about five inches of snow falling in just that short amount of time. So lots of downpours today, really beneficial rain, cooling us off as well. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s right now. 78 in Burlington, we're 69 in St. J, 68 in Saranac Lake. And if you look off to the north, you see lots of 50s and 60s on the map up there in Canada. That's going to be hours for the next couple of nights as it moves down to the south. So temperature change over the last 24 hours. We certainly have cooled off down about 15 to 20 degrees below where we were yesterday in some cases. So certainly feeling that difference out there. And you can see we have the cold front moving off to the east. Clearing is taking place behind it as some of that nice dry air moves in. So you can see uh, that we've had about a one to three inch strip there in parts of northern New York uh, in, in terms of rainfall totals, about a half an inch to an inch here in the Burlington area. So definitely some beneficial rain. And we've got that cold front moving through with much cooler air behind it. Also drier. You can see that in our water vapor, this kind of yellow color there indicating much less humid air on the way. So we've got uh, less humid this afternoon, quiet and seasonable weather through midweek, and we are watching another warm up late week. It would be brief, but pretty significant as uh, the heat and humidity returns. So let's play it out on Futurecast. Couple of afternoon puffy clouds, but overall partly cloudy. Couple of isolated showers possible late tonight into tomorrow morning, but it looks like most of tomorrow will be dry with lots of sunshine, especially tomorrow afternoon. And then Wednesday, we start off with the sun could have a couple of afternoon clouds, maybe even a shower or two by late afternoon as a warm front tries to get in here and start our warming trend for the end of the week. So dew point really going to drop as we head through the, the rest of this afternoon. You can see eastern Vermont right now and western New Hampshire sitting at dew points near 70. But look at this push of drier air just coming right through. Dew points will be back in the 40s and 50s by this afternoon. Now, the good thing about this rain, too, is it completely almost wiped out the pollen that we had in the air. So we have almost nothing in the air right now. And it doesn't look like uh, we'll get too high over the next few days. I think we'll be at medium levels through the rest of the work week, maybe, get, maybe getting into high territory toward the end of the week. But at least some relief is taking place now. So we got a comfortable afternoon ahead with highs in the 70s, 80s likely in the upper valley, but certainly less humid, so it will feel a lot better with some uh, winds out of the northwest. And tonight it is much more comfortable as well. Most of us fall into the 50s, though I could see lots of 40s in some of the normally cooler spots in the Adirondacks or the Northeast Kingdom and stays pretty seasonable. You can see our average highs right around 81 and we stay pretty near there through most of this week until about Friday when we hit 90 again and the humidity also turns up. And as I mentioned, Missouri before the holiday weekend right now looking pretty good after a couple chances for some showers and storms Saturday, Sa Sunday and Monday look spectacular with highs near 80 and sunshine. Back to you.